The Submillimeter Wave Astronomy Satellite SWAS is a NASA submillimeter astronomy satellite, and is the third spacecraft in the Small Explorer program. It was launched on December 6, 1998 UTC, from Vandenberg Air Force Base aboard a Pegasus XL rocket. The telescope was designed by the Smithsonian Astrophysical Observatory and integrated by Ball Aerospace, while the spacecraft was built by NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center. The mission's principal investigator is Gary J. Melnick. Mission SWAS was designed to study the composition and structure of interstellar clouds and investigate the processes of stellar and planetary formation. Its sole instrument is a telescope operating in the submillimeter wavelengths of far infrared and microwave radiation. The telescope is composed of three main components, a 55 times 71 cm elliptical off-axis Cassegrain reflector, two Schottky diode receivers, and an acousto-optical spectrometer. The system is sensitive to frequencies between 487 to 557 GHz, 538 to 616 micrometers, which allows it to focus on the spectral lines of molecular oxygen O2 at 487.249 GHz, neutral carbon Ci at 492.161 GHz, isotopic water H2180 at 548.676 GHz, isotopic carbon monoxide 13CO at 550.927 GHz, and water H2O at 556.936 GHz. History The Submillimeter Wave Astronomy Satellite Mission was approved on April 1, 1989. The project began with the mission definition phase, officially starting on September 29, 1989, and running through January 31, 1992. During this time, the mission underwent a conceptual design review on June 8, 1990, and a demonstration of the Schottky receivers and acousto-optical spectrometer concept was performed on November 8, 1991. The mission's development phase ran from February 1992, through May 1996. The Submillimeter Wave Telescope underwent a preliminary design review on May 13, 1992, and a critical design review on February 23, 1993. Ball Aerospace was responsible for the construction of an integration of components into the telescope. The University of Cologne delivered the acousto-optical spectrometer to Ball for integration into the telescope on December 2, 1993, while Militech Corporation delivered the Schottky receivers to Ball on June 20, 1994. Ball delivered the finished telescope to Goddard Space Flight Center on December 20, 1994. Goddard, which was responsible for construction of the spacecraft bus, conducted integration of spacecraft and instrument from January through March 1995. Spacecraft qualification and testing took place between April 1, 1995, and December 15, 1995. After this, SWAS was placed into storage until September 1, 1998, when launch preparation was begun. The spacecraft was delivered to Orbital Sciences Corporation at Vandenberg Air Force Base on November 2, 1998, for integration onto their Pegasus XL rocket. Launch occurred on December 6, 1998, at 057 UTC, from Orbital Sciences Stargazer L1011 TriStar Mothership. Its initial orbit was a near-circular 638 times 651 kilometers 396 times 405 miles with an inclination of 69.9 degrees. SWAS was originally scheduled to launch in June 1995, but was delayed due to back-to-back -back launch failures of the Pegasus XL rocket in June 1994 and June 1995. A launch opportunity in January 1997 was again cancelled due to a Pegasus XL launch failure in November 1996. The commissioning phase of the mission lasted until December 19, 1998, when the telescope began producing useful science data. The SWAS mission had a planned duration of two years and a cost estimate of $60 million, but mission extensions allowed for five and a half years of continuous science operations. During this time, data was taken on more than 200 astronomical objects. 
The decision was made to end science and spacecraft operations on July 21, 2004, at which time the spacecraft was placed into hibernation. To support the deep impact mission at Comet 9P, Temple, SWAS was brought out of hibernation on June 1, 2005. Vehicle checkout was completed on June 5 with no discernible degradation of equipment found. SWAS observations of the comet focused on isotopic water output both before and after the deep impact impactor struck the comet's nucleus on July 4. While water output was found to naturally vary by more than a factor of three during the observation campaign, SWAS data showed that there was no excessive release of water due to the impact event. After three months of observation, SWAS was once again placed into hibernation on September 1, 2005. As of 2015, SWAS remains in Earth orbit on standby. <laughs> 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 Earth 